Hey, welcome to this mama's house. Today I'm gonna take you along on a little shopping trip. So come along and let's go. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tabitha. On this channel, I post all sorts of homemaking motivation, cooking, cleaning, grocery hauls, shop with me videos like this. I would love to have you subscribe if you're into that sort of stay at home mom life content. You'll definitely fit in around here. I post videos a couple times a week, so I'd love to have you stick around and watch. Today, I'd like to head out and brave the snow to go to a couple different stores. I think I'm gonna head to Walmart and Marshalls. I have a few things in mind, Christmas gifts I wanna get, and some things for our new house. So let's jump in the car and let's head to the store. I'll show you what I find there and then I'll meet you here for the haul. Walmart was a total success. I found some things that I've been wanting and looking for for a really long time. I also had a Christmas gift card, so that was an amazing shopping trip. I can't wait to go home and show you what I got. But next, I'm gonna head out to Marshalls. I have something very specific that I want from there. Hopefully I won't get too distracted. I know they always have amazing stuff there, but let's go check out Marshall. Before we head into Marshall's, I wanted to tell you about today's video sponsor, which is AG1 by Athletic Greens. I have been taking AG1 for a really long time now. You've probably heard me talk about them before, but if you're new around here, AG1 is a nutritional drink that is packed Full of amazing vitamins, minerals, adaptogens, probiotics, and more. I have completely replaced all of my vitamins, multivitamins, and supplements that I wasn't really even sure if they went well together with AG1. So it completely replaced the majority of my supplements and this is now what I take and it's so easy to do it just requires eight ounces of water and one scoop of ag1 so much goodness packed in that one tiny scoop you just shake it up and drink it it tastes really good it's very mild 
mm, and it has a little bit of sweetness as well so it goes down really easy you're not sitting here choking down this disgusting green drink it's good it's tasty and it makes you feel good too the biggest thing that i've noticed for me personally is less brain fog less feelings of stress i'm just a little bit more zen and a little bit more focused people have asked me before if it gives me energy and i wouldn't say energy is the right word it's more of a feeling of stamina so that's what i noticed with ag1 i love taking it makes me feel confident that I am filling the nutritional gaps in my diet that I'm not getting from food by taking like a minute a day and drinking this AG1. So today they are offering you a great deal. If you purchase AG1 for the first time, they will send you a entire year supply of their vitamin D. So along with the nutritional drink, they have a really, really good vitamin d liquid supplement and this has become my favorite vitamin d as well as my husband's he just mentioned it to me the other day that he really prefers this over any that we've tried through the years so you'll get a full bottle of that for free as well as five of the packets of ag1 so these are just like the travel packs that you can throw in your bag and mix with water on the go you'll get five of those for free as well as the vitamin d with your first purchase and i just think this is a great way to focus on your health and it's an easy way to add something in and it can completely replace a lot of other stuff too so i just love it and i think you guys will too so jump down to the description box use my code and my link to get the free packs and the free vitamin d and let's have a little cheers to good health in this new year using AG1. Cheers! Now that I'm here, I see that Marshalls is right by Home Goods. Might have to stop over there. And then I figure I'm already out. We need some milk and cheese and a couple groceries for the week, so I might head over to Target too. Should have grabbed that while I was in Walmart, but oh well. Home goods. I went to Aldi instead and I have a haul here on the table to share with you guys. Let me show you what I got at Walmart first. This amazing jumbo rolling laundry basket is something I have had on my radar for a long time. I've really wanted one of these. The last house we had a laundry closet. This house we have a huge laundry room and this makes sense to have it here. So I picked it up and I'm really excited about it. I've got two jars to organize some of my pantry items. We have some open shelving in the kitchen so I love to have these flip top jars. I think they look so nice for storing bulk food items that we have. I like to leave my butter out but I wanted to have a pretty butter dish so I had my eye on this double butter dish from the Pioneer Woman. This was under $9 and it is simply gorgeous and it will fit my organic butter that i buy from azure perfectly in here it's gonna be amazing another thing i got from the pioneer woman line is this 
gorgeous Dutch oven. Look at it, it is so pretty. It has this embossed lid and it is enameled. So I wanted to get a really pretty cast iron for baking my sourdough breads in. So I picked that up. I got this silverware drawer organizer for the kids kitchen downstairs. And then I got two drawer organizers for my upstairs kitchen. This is the Better Home and Gardens line. And we have a couple of these already. This is a two pack and I really like how they work. So I got two more of those and some of these cute little bamboo um, drawer organizers. I also got this adorable apron i think this is so feminine and cute i love wearing aprons in the kitchen this one has like a um metal grommet detail here and then the lace detail on the pockets so i got this a little treat for myself another thing we got for the master bedroom for me i've been really wanting to get a new quilt i love my white comforter but it's just getting old i got it a few years ago and it's been through a lot so i thought a quilt would hold up better i got this one until i can find a really nice vintage one that i like but i think this one will work out really really good that is everything that i got at walmart right over here and then i got some really good finds at marshall's i want to set up my makeup to do at my desk so i got some little organizers for lipsticks and tubes and then i think the rest of my makeup i think everything i have will be able to fit in here really nicely so i'll have that i picked up a couple little things that i'm going to be doing as gifts this beautiful jade roller and this rose water and vinegar spray. I got some of these sugar free gums. And then look at how pretty this dish soap is. It was only a couple bucks. $3.99 for this beautiful dish soap. And it just is going to look so cute. You can refill it. It'll look so pretty on the counter. But then I also got this one for Christmas. Balsam fur. Oh my goodness. I think this is going to be amazing sitting out doing dishes with and then these are the reason i went to marshall's they had the sugar-free syrups always oh, such a good deal and look at how big these bottles are i'm gonna give some of these away for christmas and then i think i'm gonna keep one i'm not sure which flavor i should keep we have vanilla bean vanilla and then white chocolate mocha and these are huge these were only 7.99 even on amazon you can't get this for under $20 for this size. Another find I got at Marshall's was this little duster cardigan and this was on the clearance rack for $20 and I needed a little beige brown number to go with some of my dresses. We keep the house pretty chilly here and I love to throw on a cardigan to warm up. The rest of this stuff is from Aldi, just groceries. I'll share those with you, but I always go down the Aldi's fine section and they always have such amazing things. So I got these little slippers. Like I said, it's cold in this house and these were only $8.99. Can you believe it? I think these look so comfortable and like good quality for some house shoes. And then I also got an extra large little duster cardigan so look at this goes together and then these go so i'll be keeping warm and looking stylish here at home and then i found this little um cheese pairing spread set this has they have like fig and different jams that pair really good with cheese and crackers so these are always fancy and i love getting these around the holiday time we've got some milk for the week i had to get some parmesan cheese i think we're gonna have to go to sam's club or costco and get parmesan cheese in bulk as well as shredded cheese um it's just not i don't think cost effective to get it like this but i would have to crunch the numbers but anyways we got mozzarella cheddar and mexican style i also got some fresh mozzarella i got some of these jubilee olives look at how good that looks i don't know if you can see but there's like some really yummy herbs in there i got some big pickles the kids love to crunch on these some snap peas green onions and then i got uh these peppermint 
ice cream sandwiches and cheesecake bites, little snacks, some broccoli and bananas for the week. And then I wanted to get a few of these cake mixes. These are only 98 cents and you can do so many things with a box of cake mix. So I got some of those for us to play around with for some fun desserts um, this holiday season. And then I got just a box of Cheerios. So that is the total haul for tonight. And now let me bring you back to a couple nights ago when my husband came home with this massive Aldi grocery haul for our large family. We really needed to stock up on some things in the new house. We spent a total of $368 and we got a bunch of good stuff, starting with baby wipes. Their baby wipes are pretty good. I've been impressed. So we always pick up one of those when we're there. I got some string cheese, and this is the reason we had to go back, because I only got one bag of uh, shredded cheese. We should have got way more. We got French onion dip, as well as this dill dip. I got ranch, too. You can see back there, but having, like, fun vegetable dips really encourages my kids to eat their vegetables so that's why I got those. We also got two of the plain yogurts because we love to have yogurt parfaits. And then a bunch of produce over here. Something that we're trying is to really encourage the kids to eat more fruits and vegetables. For some reason we've just been sick and our appetite's been changed and fresh foods has been harder for my kids to eat for some reason. So I've been encouraging them to eat their vegetables by buying those fun dips like I showed you as well as like snacks to say if you eat your roots and vegetables you can have a snack. I know it's not the best but I'm just happy to see them eating more fruits and vegetables. We got peppers, carrots, tomatoes, cilantro, these snap peas are really good, cucumbers, avocados, bananas, oranges, grapes. These salad kits are awesome. I love to have these for a quick easy lunch. The dressing isn't that great so if you made homemade dressing these would be way better but I love how they just come with something crunchy like a seed and stuff and it just makes a really good yummy fresh lunch. So I grab those or even a side for dinner. If you don't know what to serve up, you can just grab one of those salad bags. And then I like to always have frozen fruit on hand. And sometimes I just serve it frozen to the kids for breakfast, like as a side or a snack. And that way it doesn't go bad. I'm not worried about fresh fruit going bad because it's already frozen. And then I can use it in smoothies as well. Then we have some sandwich supplies. I got chicken breast and ham. Those can be tossed in the freezer to use for a few weeks coming up. I got some of the Nutella, the Aldi Nutella, some strawberry spread and some raspberry spread. The kids love peanut butter and jelly or sometimes they just like Nutella sandwiches as a quick snack um, after they eat their fruits and vegetables. See, see, that's how we work it around here. Um, this peanut butter is their favorite too, which is terrible. Um, I'm trying to like switch them over to just the organic peanut butter that I use. Uh, so here's all the snacks that we got. I tried to get some good stuff. Some of it's for packing lunches for my oldest for when she goes to school. Um, but here's what we got. Uh, the fruit strips, these are really good and the really good clean ingredients. So I got three boxes of those, the berry and the strawberry. And we also got some of the Mott's. Uh, fruit snacks. I try to always get stuff with no food dye. I know Aldi's really good about it. Most of the time their stuff doesn't have food dyes, but you have to watch out. Then we got the honey and chocolate grams, the cheese crackers, the turtles are a hit with the kids, and then these little pouch things like the bags of chips and the pouches I'm trying to save for like lunches for my oldest. Uh, she really likes these cookies for her lunches and the Rice Krispie treats. Uh, maybe I'll talk about how we pack her lunch someday. Let me know if you're interested in that. Pringles for the kids. Um, this apple cinnamon oatmeal pack. Those are a hit for an easy breakfast. And then this granola is meant for the yogurt. Frosted flakes. We do get cereal from Aldi. And the reason is, like I said, they don't put food dyes in it. Here's the chips. I think there might be food dye in those red chips. Um, but... Cocoa, Krispies, the fruit rounds, they don't have food dye or high fructose corn syrup. So those are a fun treat for the kids sometimes too. 
and um, then we have some of this ham. I got this to make breakfast sandwiches and those are so good and easy and it makes a really hearty breakfast. We got salami, those are just for snacking. And then some of these rice cakes are really tasty. We like to spread either like guacamole on them or peanut butter or just eat them plain. This ham is really good to serve uh, with eggs or like on the side for breakfast with hash browns over here. We put those in the air fryer. We got tortillas for taco nights, corn and flour. And then eggs. Always, always, always buying a bunch of eggs. I can't wait to get chicken so I don't have to buy eggs anymore. Um, then I'll have to buy chicken food, right? Bagels, we got this everything sourdough, which is so tasty. And then two Italian loaves. But I'm making bread again, so I'm hoping not to be buying this fancy bread from Aldi anymore. Uh, we got some pizzas. I always like to get a cheese pizza because we avoid meat on Fridays. So that makes it easy just to have a cheese pizza. And then we do like to have their other pizzas they're fresh they're like the take and bake kind but you can put these in the freezer and they cook perfectly fine like a frozen pizza corn chips veggie straws those I got for the baby to feed the baby pretzels and then just a bunch of different chips and we'll be hoarding these hopefully the kids won't just like mow through them we've been doing good so far so yeah we only got one milk see that's another reason we had to go back because that was gone with the quickness with six kids and then I got six loaves of this bread to put in the freezer and hold me over until I can get my bread machine going on a daily basis so that's what we got there um, probably always we'll just have convenience bread in the freezer though I like to have that on hand so that is the Aldi haul from the other day. Oh, I got this fancy popcorn bucket too. Um, so cute. I love getting these. My two-year-old was worried it was going to fall off the table. I was like, it's okay. Uh, look how cute this is though. Thanks so much for coming shopping with me and coming along to see what I got in today's haul. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any last minute Christmas gifts to buy, Marshalls is the place to go. They have tons of really unique, amazing things for under $10. So run out there and get something if you are still in need of any Christmas shopping. But I hope you had fun coming along with me today and seeing what I got. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!